This is John Cullo with OKRaw.com to do another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm in Puerto Rico, USA. Yes, Puerto Rico is a territory of the United States and traveling here from the US requires no passport. It's just, it's just like flying to a neighboring state. Very simple, very easy. Puerto Rico has amazing weather year round, especially here in the winter, which is the time I'm here. And the reason why I want to make this episode for you guys today is I want to let you guys know where I go when I need to lose weight. <laughs> I was having some overeating issues a little bit earlier in the year, videos down below if you're interested in that. Um, but I decided to come to Puerto Rico to help shed about, you know, five to ten extra pounds. And actually the cool thing is most people that come to the Ann Wigmore Institute will lose about approximately 10 pounds on average. Of course, some people have more pounds to lose, they'll lose more, and some people may not lose as much. And how do I know this? It's because they've been documenting the weight loss of some of the students that have come to Ann Wigmore over the years, and we'll probably get one of the instructors to go over some of the documentation. Now, the other thing I will say is that this is not just a fad diet. You won't just come here to lose 10 pounds, which you will lose in one week. And by the time you're done with your stay, which should be two weeks, you could come for one week, but I would recommend you guys come for two weeks. You'll probably lose, I don't know, maybe uh, 10 pounds plus a couple extra pounds on the second week, because uh, you'll lose more pounds in the first week than the second week as your body reattunes. But not only will you shed those pounds, you will learn the teachings and techniques and proper ways to eat so that you can more importantly keep them off. And for me, even more importantly than just keeping off the excess weight that has been uh, linked to many different diseases and having a weak immune system, dysbiosis and all these crazy things, um, you will learn how to live healthier so that you can be even healthier and better than you were before. So what I want to do in this video is I want to show you guys actually what you'll be learning and what you'll be doing, what you'll be eating at the Ann Wigmore Institute so that you guys could lose some weight. One of the most amazing things here at the Ann Wigmore Institute is that the, some of the food you'll be eating is actually grown here on site, right? Nothing could be healthier than fresh living food that they're growing here, especially these microgreens, which are sunflower microgreens. They also have buckwheat microgreens as well as lots of wheatgrass and other kinds of microgreens growing that they'll use in the food you'll be eating here to lose your weight. Now, why are these foods so critical for weight loss? Well, in my personal opinion, <laughs> and the science <laughs> says these foods have the lowest amount of calories, whereas most foods that you've uh, eaten to gain the weight are high in calories. So, you know, junk foods, processed foods, very high in calories, and more importantly, not a lot of nutrients. These foods, using their own homemade compost has lots of different vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, and phytonutrients that can help your body normalize and easily shed those pounds. Your weight loss journey in Wigmore literally starts feet from the beach here in Rincon, Puerto Rico, where there are coconut palms overlooking the ocean, and you get to do morning yoga. No strenuous exercise is necessary to lose weight, just gentle movement to unwind your body. This is the beach house, just feet from the beach and the ocean, where you'll hear the morning ocean waves while you wake up your body gently with yoga or other movement exercises, usually with Kailash. Can you handle this exercise? It's not strenuous. We're not doing anything. I don't even got to move up and down. I can just bounce up and down. I don't have to like jump up and down or nothing. It's, it's too much of work, man. You sit here and balance. When you are bouncing, you are facilitating detoxification and aiding in your weight loss. And what better place to do rebounding than right next to the ocean, watching the waves come in, hearing the waves crash, and more importantly, smelling the fresh air, and getting all those amazing negative ions. Now I want to show you guys this strenuous exercise you guys are going to do while in Puerto Rico to lose weight. Nope, you're not seeing a gym. What you're seeing is the beach. The strenuous exercise is you get to walk at your own pace, no running required, 
to get some gentle movement in to get some exercise while you're walking on the beach barefoot in the sand absorbing the nice sun to make some vitamin D checking out the beautiful palm trees or coconut palms and also maybe even want to go swimming sometimes so now I want to show you guys the food that you'll be eating here at the Ann Weymore Institute that will help you shed those pounds. So let's take a look. Of course, the mainstay of the food you'll be eating here at the Ann Wigmore Institute is the energy soup, and it's in that bowl right there. This is available at every meal, 24 seven just about. And in some cases, sometimes you will only be eating energy soup. That being said, along with the energy soup, there'll be additional condiments that you can choose and select from if you would like them or not. Like for example, my favorite condiment with the energy soup personally is um, chopped up papaya pieces. In some cases they have, you know, blended papaya. They'll also have some kinds of different uh, nut and seed sauces like the chia, uh, blended chia or flax to go with it. Um, they'll have cut up, you know, celery and scallions and um, other accoutrements that you can add to your energy soup to make it more interesting. Right now they are including the uh, option as the sauerkraut, uh, fermented food, really good for your microbiome, uh, as well as the dulse, which will give you guys the trace minerals and iodine you need to function properly. And of course the two front ones, very important, some of my favorite foods on the planet, uh, the turmeric and the ginger that you could add for flavoring, also anti-inflammatory power. So aside from just the energy soup, you also get some, some of the healthiest food money can't buy. <laughs> and that's the, uh, the salad today, which is the sprouts that were grown here on site, including the broccoli sprouts, anti-cancer, full of isothiocyanates and uh, beneficial properties for anti-aging. Also the alfalfa sprouts, as well as a nice bed of fresh greens with spiralized zucchini. You could call that zucchini pasta with a pumpkin seed sauce. Really also good in some trace minerals there. Top with some tomatoes, peppers, as well as some basil. Throughout the day, there are classes you can attend to learn about how to keep your weight off, the hows and whys, to do it specifically so that when you leave the Ann Wigmore Institute, you can keep your weight off. Right now, Kyle Ash is giving a class on food combining, something that most Americans simply do not do that can contribute to poor health. Blend, you can have some squash in the meal, and then blend up the squash and then So now I'm here with Kailash Niels senior living foods lifestyle teacher, yoga therapist, and Feldenkrais practitioner to ask some questions of him on how much weight somebody can typically lose here at Ann Wigmore Institute. I become aware that in the olden days they would maybe weigh the participants. Nowadays it's up to yourself to weigh yourself. If you like they provide a scale here that's right outside the kitchen that I walk by every day when getting the food that you could simply weigh yourself and even check your height uh, when you come and even you know along the time that you are here at Ann Wigmore but fortunately Kailash has some data that he's collected over the many years that he's worked here that I want him to share with you so the Kailash the first question is how much weight can somebody typically lose here at Ann Wigmore Institute mm. So over many years I was collecting data, as you said, and just on a side note, my weight has been the same over the last 20 some years, but a lot of people, most people that come here, are very interested in losing weight, and everybody does. And most people lose about 10 pounds the first week, and then a few more pounds the second week. And I want to read here some examples, so we have one person here, who came in at 163.6 pounds and left you two weeks later with 146.6 pounds. So that's 17 pounds in two weeks. Well, maybe that was a young guy that was like working out a lot and doing all this exercise, right? And no, this no. was somebody 63 years 63 old. 63 years old. And no strenuous hard exercise. Mm, wow. And I'll just read you another example. This person, 58, came in 172.8 pounds and left two weeks later 10.6 pounds lighter at 162.2. Mm -hmm. 
So these results may be atypical. When we're making no claims because everybody's different depending on how much you follow the program and, and get into the work that you're doing here. And weight loss to me is a lot more than just the calories going in, calories going out. It's about cleansing and detoxifying and changing more importantly your mindset. So Kailash, as much as people can lose weight if they come here, will they just gain the weight right back once they go home? Well, it depends on what you're doing at home. If you are living this lifestyle at home, or something close to it, I'd like to say, you'll keep the weight off and keep losing weight until you, you reach your perfect, your ideal, your optimal, healthy weight. And which, from my perspective, in my opinion, it's more than just uh, something, a number you see on the scale, but really an inner feeling. You know? Sure, the scale tells us some things, and points us into the right direction, but then, of course, what's most important, your optimal weight is the weight that you feel best at. Right. And that will also um, guarantee you long-term health, not just short-term, but long-term health. And it is amazing how people continue to lose weight if they stay on this program or something similar to it. Yes. But you won't wither away into nothing. Kailash, of course, has maintained his weight over many years. Your body will get to the homeostasis where you feel comfortable, your body feels comfortable, and you'll just maintain that level of weight. Another question I know a lot of people may be having, Kailash, is a lot of the different weight loss centers. You gotta like, you see people like working at the gym, doing all this cardio and stuff, and like, I mean, Exercise is good, I'm not going say it's bad, but does somebody really have to work out here? Where's your workout gym? I didn't see one here, actually. Uh, you didn't see one because we don't have a gym. So what we do here, we start with yoga, gentle yoga. It's not like strenuous yoga. We don't do like, like strong things. Even downward dog we don't do. It's very gentle, very mindful the yoga. And it helps uh, with the metabolism. It helps for the circulation to increase, for the lymph to flow and so forth. And so many things that help with natural, healthy, weight loss. So we don't have a gym. Yes, we may walk on the beach and there's rebounders, but we encourage a soft, light balance. And especially while here, while doing the detox, while doing the cleanse. And of course, people are eating less calories here, a lot less calories than when they're at home. And at the same time, people, students walk up to me all the time and say, you know, there's so many snacks, there's so many things here in between meals, even I'm never really hungry. You know, I'm totally satisfied even with this with this food here, which is very, very low in calories. So it's very rich in micronutrients and low in macronutrients. And that seems to be the key. One of the main keys really why people feel satisfied because they're getting the nutrition that the body has been craving for so long and they're just naturally losing the weight. The weight loss is kind of like a, a, a byproduct. a side effect, yeah. That's right. Perfect effects. Mm -hmm. And 10 pounds, or at least 10 pounds. Those are typical numbers here, John. Uh, 10 or more pounds. 10 or more pounds, 10 typical more. numbers. Yes, that's typical. All right. Absolutely. So now I have the pleasure of introducing you to Carolyn Marin, the new director here at the Ann Wigmore Institute. And we're going to ask her some questions about losing weight here at Ann Wigmore. So Carolyn, why would somebody want to come to Ann Wigmore to lose weight instead of going to some other diet retreat center or anything like that? Well, number one, you get a lot more than losing weight when you come here. Losing weight is a side effect to cleansing the body. The other side effect is pure joy and bliss. Now, you do go through a detox moment. I would say it could be, it could be a day. It could go three days. And it could do this thing where you feel wonderful. And, you go, and either way, the end result is not just losing weight. It's the space in your, in your gut that you lose. And it's, a lot of it is gases. A lot of people are bloated more than they're fat. And the reason why it doesn't go down is because they don't go to the root of the issue. And the root is always in the colon. The, the disease begins in the gut with lots of gases and then the fat can grow around that. But when you clean the gut and you fill it with good probiotics, you balance those probiotics, the person doesn't just lose weight. They lose like a pound or two a day between eating plenty of food and cleansing that they also like I said, feel great, they start to sleep better, their skin starts to look better. So they don't just lose weight, they leave here shining and glowing and uh, literally crying of joy. I mean, uh, I'm sure Lalita and Kailash would also say, the other teachers here, when we do our uh, closing ceremony, um, is quite emotional and people are, they're kind of blissed out and on top of it, they've lost between 10 and 15 pounds and they can't believe it. 
most, not everybody comes here to lose weight, but then, like I said, it just happens naturally. Unless the person's weight is already balanced, then that doesn't happen. So the next question I have for you is, will somebody feel satisfied with the food and the meals that they're eating here? In some way, people feel extremely satisfied. In fact, a lot of people can't even eat all the food we give them. Um, a lot of people say it's too much food, and I say, well, don't force it. Um, because when you're eating good quality, high quality, high electromagnetic charged food, food that's full of nutrition, you don't need as much. And also when the body's cleansing, it doesn't want as much. When you give them wheatgrass juice and, and you know, really healthy milks and green juices and this energy soup, um, on one level they feel extremely satisfied, maybe even more satisfied than they've ever felt because they're getting nourished. On another level, emotional, I'd say. People go through quite a detox here because they're used to, like you said, other food, whether it's a lot of fruit, whether it's um, cooked food, oils, salts, you know, vegan food, you know, vegan is quite delicious. Could be a lot of junky vegan stuff. Yeah, I, I say vegan schmegan a lot because <laughs> people say, I'm vegan, and I say, but what do you eat? Because I know because I was a vegan, and I can still slip into that, my kids are, and it's a lot of processed foods. So I feel uh, that people are overall very satisfied. It just takes them to go through those first few days just like any new thing that you do in your life, you're breaking habits, you know, and so this satisfaction of food may be used for entertainment and all that, that, that definitely is something they have to, people go through here. And then, but I'll tell you, like, after the first few days and into the second week, people are extremely happy and feel like it's too much food, mm. you know. Wow. So, Carolyn, what kind of food will people be eating here? What, what, what can they expect? Because it's a little bit different than maybe most weight loss places that people would go to. I mean, this is not Weight Watchers, you're not going to count calories, you're not going to do all these crazy things. Right. Yeah, but I do invite Oprah to come. <laughs> I would invite Oprah to come because, um, well, the food is very different because it's, it's based in nature, like you said. It's not powders and it's not cooked. And so it's very wholesome raw food with a lot of energy and a lot of love in it, uh, love from nature, I'd say, and also the people who prepared it. And it's food that is gonna, uh, it's gonna nourish and cleanse the people. So when they're eating it, they, the tongue is being cleansed, you know? So it's definitely um, a big change for the tongue. Let's just go there first. And so we tell people like, your palate is being cleansed because at the other end of the palate, you know, is the colon. And so when there's a lot of bad bacteria or path pathogens in the colon, it's also all through the intestines and into the mouth. So it's a, it's a big difference to eat a lot of very alkaline for me, easy to digest, cleansing green food as opposed to other foods that, you know, uh, that don't do that, that don't cleanse the body. So the cleansing is really what helps the body lose weight and lose weight for good. We're not talking about this yo-yo thing or doing a diet. This is a lifestyle change. And not everybody adapts to it 100%, but most people leave with a lot of healthy changes. And I tell people, even if you step, you know, four steps uh, forward, and then when you leave, you step a couple back, most people don't step all the way back. And our highest amount of clients are our graduates. So we have a lot of returning students. They come once a year, twice a year, every two years. Um, or sometimes we don't see them for a few years, and when they come, they say, oh, I stayed away too long. You know, because life took them away, and they got away from their center. And so they come back, and they get recentered and reconnected. And uh, it's, it's just a beautiful process to watch people go through and, and not be so attached to the fact that I'm overweight, that they just go into cleansing and they go into the emotional part, which really helps them keep it off, you know. Wonderful. So, Carolyn, if somebody wants to come to Ann Weedmore and lose probably 10 pounds, maybe more, no guarantees, of course, depends on your participation right. and your effort. Mm -hmm. And then also, more importantly, to keep them off, they'll learn the techniques and classes and the exercises and the food they need to eat to keep it off so that it's going to be a lifestyle versus just going to a place, losing weight, and then gaining it back in a week, right? That's right. How can they contact the Ann Wigmore Institute to learn more and enroll today? Well, you can do uh, annwigmore.org on the computer or you can call and we're just a phone call away we're within the United States phone services so it's not a long distance call it's 787 it's 868 and 6307 that's been our phone number forever as long as I can remember 787-868-6307
wonderful. If you guys want to reach out to Ann Waymore, link down below in the description to their website. Also, their phone number is listed down below. And I want to encourage you guys to call them. This is probably one of the best places you guys can come to lose weight, but more importantly, get healthy and keep the weight off in the long run. I mean, I've gotten into this style diet 27 years ago and pretty much maintain the uh, you know same weight unless I got some eating binges because I got some own, my own things going on in my life. We all do. Um, but that's why I'm here. So I come here, lose some extra weight, get back, get reset, and continue on with my life and my program that I'm doing. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Ann Wigmore Institute and want more videos like this, hey, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Helps out the YouTube algorithm. And also be sure to share this video with a friend that wants to lose weight so that more people could learn about the Ann Wigmore Institute and the amazing work they are doing here. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you know this. Don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes. I'm coming out about every five to seven days. You don't know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And make sure you click the bell so you get notified as many videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes, a wealth of knowledge, over 600 episodes at this time. A couple links down below in the description for other videos I've also made here at the Ann Wigman Institute over the many years that I've come here. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time, and until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables and sprouts. They're always the best.